What's up guys, Perf here. So, today we're going to talk about getting organized. Um, organizing your everything, your presets, basically having everything set up to where it works correctly. So, that being said, we're going to look at... My presets are a complete mess and Epic War or Machine Zone do not make it easy for people that have OCD at all in this game. It's like every time you get a pack or something, you get like 50 different gear sets that you don't need anymore, but they still give them to you and you gotta clear all that crap out. Or you can just kind of let it pack rat like I have. But anyway, okay, so let's proceed with this. So first thing, the first thing we're gonna look at is our presets. So what do we want to put as a preset? What do we do the most in the game? Um, if you're a rally leader, which pretty much if you know you're gonna have all these presets unlocked if you um, unless you're a trap. So um, this can pertain to traps as well if you have um, the VIP free preset. You know, not if you've done the research, but you're pretty much gonna have your defense gear on that. So what I do and mine I haven't really done it. I finally sat down one day in Game of War and did it, but I haven't done it here. So I have, you have 10 preset slots. So you're thinking, what do you do the most? Well, if you're a rally leader, you're gonna have three reserve four cores, which is gonna be your infantry, your artillery, I'm sorry, your infantry, your tactical, and your um, armored. So those are gonna be your three presets. And I have mine kind of all over the place right now. Then you have a preset for defense gear. You can have a preset for, which I had economy at the time because I didn't have as many slots, but essentially economy is my training gear. And then um, preset three is, so let's go in here. Let's just name these things right now so we can look at this. So we'll call this one defense, which you pretty much don't need defense gear unless you're like low on troop count. But if you're running as many T4s as I've got, you pretty much are gonna leave it like it is. Uh, you can be in uh, what's that set called? Uh, Shadow, whatever the new set is. Uh, training, okay, so we got that. And we've got, what is this set called again? Soul Assassin. <clears throat> so, now the thing about Soul Assassin gear is people still use it to hit bases, but pretty much this is like your CP set and they're gonna come out with CP cores so make sure you leave something on standby for control point cores uh, this is rebel target killing so what is called this rebel um, infantry core tactical core which I need to finish that actually now that I think about it um, uh, what is that refiners so you can call it refiners or you can call it core creation, whatever you want to call it. Basically, you go through and you get all these set and try to put your infantry tact. Don't put any spaces between your three cores, but I'm not going to go through and bother with that right now. And then, of course, preset 10 is my training gear. So let's think about this. What do I do the most in the game? Well, I, in the, on this account, I have, you know, I need my cores for rally leading. I need my um, refiners gear to create my cores. I need I really don't need my defense gear but whatever training I need my training gear I'm probably actually gonna drop my defensive gear for something else I'll show you what that's gonna be in a minute training is uh, my training gear obviously I gotta have that soul assassin which is also known as CP or con uh, control point gear um, rebel I I do that because I get bored and I just kill those for a little bit all right, so essentially I have one slot open. Okay, so I don't wanna take the time to make a set for construction because I don't do construction enough. So what I've done is in my training preset, I have construction maxed out. So I can go through here and do, uh, do construction. I'll probably reset this because I don't need research anymore. And what you do is on your you're gonna have skill points left over stack them into defense because if you accidentally log off in the wrong gear at least you'll have defense points um at least you'll be able to you won't take as hard of hits you'll still take decently hard hits but they won't be as bad if you if you accidentally log out in the wrong gear um 
that's thing number one. Thing number two is if you can combine anything like I did here, I can just switch out these pieces. When I equip this, I can just switch them out for my construction gear when I want to do that. So the only thing that's really missing here is, uh, let's see, we have construction, we have, and also I do troop promotion on my training one. And we have research and we have refiners. So <clears throat> the last set I'm gonna make, or the last set I'm gonna put on here is the swift invasion. And the reason is, and I don't even know if I have that open. But the reason I'm going to do Swift inva uh, Invasion, I think that's what it's called. Swift Thermal Jacket. Swift Helmet. Trackers. Yeah, whatever. I'll finish this up here in a little bit, but let's go look at this gear. Commander Presets. Oh, let's put our title in here. Okay. And then this is going to be the swift one. So I don't even know what the helmet looks like. Actually, now that I look at this thing, Yeah, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have our, uh, our, oh, wait, they ain't the right thing. Where is it at? Swift, okay. So this gives us deployment speed. Now, I know that there's gear that gives more, like this right here. Well, that's off of one of our mods, but actually, is there gear that gives more? Anyway, regardless, what we're going to do is we're going to mod out that gear, that Swift gear, purely for deployment speed all right and and the reason we're gonna do that is because we're gonna have that and we're gonna be in that when we're like let's say we're doing control point we're gonna have that gear equipped right and then we're gonna uh, set a rally if we're rally leading on control point or an offline target but I would I would say on offline targets or on targets period if there is even a chance of them being online don't even worry about it but on control point this is extremely helpful and the reason is, what you do is you stack up, uh, what do you call it? You stack up deployment speed on here, right? And then that way you're in that gear, you have it fully modded out for deployment speed. And I know there's a deployment speed. Let me find that thing real quick. Let's see. So I haven't I haven't done this set yet, so but I know there is one. Okay. That might be one. Yeah, there's one right there. Okay, so deployment mod set. And then Let's go back to where that was. There's the other deployment mod set. And you can also use this if you're gathering, but you know, you could do other things with it. Where is that last one? Oh, there it is. Okay, stall, and then let's get the last one. There it is. All right, so our deployment speed right there is uh, 187 off that if you combine this plus the 50 bonus that we get. So 187 off the, the helmet. And you add that up over all of them. So here's what's going to happen. You're, you're rallying the CP, the control point, right? You have this gear on, okay? So they don't really know if, you, if you're running... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, but as I say, if you're running anti-scout, 
when control point gets to where you're going to be switching up your troop types, you're going to be sending things a little differently. You're going to have things modded a little differently for different situations. Uh, right now, it's just pretty much everybody sings the exact same thing, even mix, whatever. But, you know, a lot of people complain, man, it takes forever for that to get there. Well, if you launch in this gear, so you launch it in this gear, then you switch to your course or to your um, uh, swift, or not your swift, I'm sorry, your soul assassin gear. If you launch in this, it's going to get there that much faster because it's going to launch with this faster deployment speed. Okay. And then you switch. So where it takes, you know, two or three minutes to get there, it could take like, uh, I don't know what the fastest I've seen, less than a minute maybe to get to the, to the uh, control point. So you do this and that's basically what you do on that. That's just an example. So you, you mod out your gear based on what you're going to be doing for, I mean, this game is simple. It's like, okay, research gear, you're going to run research mod set it's simple but anyway um but yeah getting organized is, is a big part of speeding up your gameplay um one other thing that i wanted to touch on was uh was okay so any preset you're setting except for cores obviously but any preset you're setting research uh deployment speed any any of those economy ones it doesn't hurt to uh, put points in these down here so you can buff your alliance, but always any extra points you have go and put them in in defense Because you'll lose a lot less troops that way if you accidentally log out in the wrong gear Okay, then the uh, The last point I want to make was about your inventory. All right, so You know go in here go in your inventory and clear out crap that you don't need. If you don't use it anymore, clear it out. For example, these three replaced, I think these, no. Yeah, like, okay, wolf set, for example. Wolf set's useless now. If, if you have this, you don't need wolf anymore. Remove all the mods from it if you wanna keep them and just destroy it. You know, that, I've been bad about this. I need to get better. These right here, these are the, late, these are the EMP grenades. All right, but I've got these, which are the upgrade version of that. I mean, 380 troop attack, right? And then that that's with no mods, no enchants. I mean, it's insane the amount that, you, that it'll increase. <clears throat> but that being said, just try to focus, you know, keep your, keep your inventory clean. Like this is all crap. I don't need it. If I want, I can disassemble it, but you get so many of these things now and when you get packs that you don't even need it but um, anyway yeah just clear out your inventory keep it clean and as you get crap delete it then like clear it out right then and I know I'm, I'm pre, you know pot kettle kind of situation I don't I am not practicing what I preach here but a clean inventory will really help you out especially when you want to do some quick cores you just pop them you don't have to worry about oh crap I don't have enough space in my inventory so get that taken care of um, Get your preset set and have them. Uh, don't be switching gear. Try not to take too much time doing that because if you want to research, you research. You know, the la I got one more thing to do here and then I'll take off my uh, construction gear. But yeah, I just need a few more of these to do my drone inventory targets. But anyway, um, so also, last thing, there is a kill event coming up Sunday. All right. Now, I'll be playing this account in my trap. I'm going to play both this time. I've been kind of had them both open for a while so I can get used to it. But, you know, I'm playing both accounts. And uh, and I'll probably live stream. Why not? Um, I think that's about it. Uh, there's only shout outs I was going to give. Let's see. There are some. I've got a list. I got a, I don't have it with me right now. I'll get it put together and I'll get a shout out done in the next video. But, uh, so this is my main account and I will be. Um, I've got a little bit left to do in combat research, but other than that, I'm maxed. Let's see. Yeah, I've got six of six all the way down to here, and then I'm five. Or six of ten, then I'm five of ten down here. But anyway, um, so I'm going to give another shout out to Mort for hooking me up because he's the one who allowed, basically allowed me to get this where I'm at right now. So uh, again, Mort, you're awesome. Holler at you guys later. Peace.